Hey guys, what's up? Jake here on Taste the Rage TV, and this is going to be a guide to the map Ailsund. I know more about this map than I knew about any other map. I am more experienced on this one than any other. Once I get through talking about this, you're going to know everything about this map, and you're going to know how to win on it. So first things first, this map is completely reversed. It is like a mirror straight in the middle, or a reverse mirror. Like what you see is what they see. Let's go ahead and flip it. See? Exact same thing. The farthest left one is closer to the enemy. The farthest left uh, spawn point is closer to the enemy. The farthest left spawn point is closer to the enemy. It's exactly reversed. Everything about this map is a mirror. Everything they see, you see. Okay, so to start off, <coughs> Mike and Charlie are priorities at the beginning of the game. Once you get once you uh, once you fortify Mike and Charlie, your team can focus on capping Enya and Foxtrot. Those are priorities. All your military force should be going to Mike or Ch and Charlie. I'm not saying or Charlie or Mike, because like I mean, if it's two versus two, then one person needs to focus on Mike and the other person needs to focus on Charlie. Don't split up your military force. Send it all to Mike or send it all to Charlie. So first things first. Um, if you're going for Charlie, get airlifted infantry. This is what I do every time I go for Charlie because it works out every time. So get two airlifted infantry. Put two here. Put two here. Put two here. Because if you put helicopters over forests and buildings, they start off a whole lot faster. It's like they're already in there. They don't even have to take off. Most people know that, but here you go. You now know. Um, get one AA, one AA, one AA, one AA. Don't put them in groups. Get four separate AAs. Put two uh, cargo trucks here in one group. Put tar two cargo trucks here in one group. Two groups, two cargo trucks in each one. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Two tanks at minimum. Two tanks at minimum. I mean, you can get more than that, but I always start with just two tanks because that's all you really need if you're uh, starting off with maybe 2,000 points. Which most people do when you're doing 2 vs 2. Um, and that's pretty much all you need. 2 tanks, 4 AA, 4 cargo trucks, and 3, uh, I mean 6 airlifted infantry helicopters. When it hits 3, 2, 1, you need to be doing this. And when it hits 0, boom. Hit move fast, do that. Boom, there you go. And while they're on the move, micromanagement time. Click on each separate unit, tell them where to go. Two airlifted helicopters need to be going here. Two need to be going here. Two need to be going here. Don't worry about any other uh, city block because most of the time, um, I mean, don't don't want to judge me on this if they do go for it. But most of the time, they come from Bravo and send them through this road right here. This is their uh, mode of transportation right here. They're going to go by this road because it's the fastest way. At end game, you can worry about uh, capping these city blocks and defending this side. But most of the time, at the beginning of the game, they're going to be coming from this direction. If they don't come from this direction, then they're not going to be coming at all. Then they're going to be going for Mike. If you're going for and uh, put one tank right here, one tank right here. Because the tanks can shoot over the cities and they can shoot over the forest. It's the best uh, spot for having tanks. So when they pass this ridge, all your tanks fire. They have a perfect line of sight. Put one AA right here. One AA right here. One AA right here. And one AA right here. Put one ammo right here, 
and one ammo right here. That's all you need to do for Charlie. At the beginning of the game, that's all you need. You can, uh, after it starts, you can bring up some other stuff. What I would do is bring up if uh, you if you if they wipe through your infantry and you only got a couple left, I'd bring up more infantry, and I'd bring up more tanks. Just keep resupplying your AA because when they see see you coming up, they're gonna send their jets to bomb you. Bring AA, and when you when you see the uh, jets, when you see the air, stop your AA so they can shoot. All right. So, like I said, though Charlie and Mike are priorities. Once you can't, once you got both of them fortified, you can focus on India and Flying Strike because they're gonna want those. If they can't get Mike or Charlie, they're gonna go for the middle. They're not gonna, they're not gonna go through the sides if they see it's fortified, because it's a waste of units. Because you know, when, I mean, the best offense is the best offense is the defense, in my opinion. I mean, I know you heard <laughs> us say. Um, uh, the best defense is the offense, but I mean, if if you're defending, then I mean, you have such a huge advantage when you're defending. So get there first, so you can defend. So if you're going for Mike, send helicopters because m they're going to be doing the exact same thing. Any experienced player is going to be sending helicopters and airlifted infantry because it works. It works. It works. So I would put helicopters, but like I said earlier, get some helicopters and put them over the forest or the buildings. Because if they're over the forest, and they start off a whole lot faster. They're not even taking off. They're already in the air. It gives you the advantage when you put them over the forest and over the city. Okay, so um, I would get tanks and just helicopters. Any helicopters that can take out other helicopters. Or just helicopters, I mean, because they're going to be sending tanks too. I mean, the best thing for just going for Mike is get helicopters. Get AA, get helicopters, and get tanks. That's all you need. And, uh, when, I mean, don't cap Mike because it's not priority. What you're going to want to cap, though, is Charlie. The only reason you'd cap Mike is if they're really pushing on it, but they're not pushing on Charlie. If they're not pushing on Charlie, then you need to start pumping out the shit on Mike. Because they're both going to focus on Mike. Because once they see that you're already forward to fight on Charlie, they're not going to go for it. Because this little death trap you got right here with the tanks on the ridge... I mean, that's such a huge advantage, it's ridiculous. Like, every time they come up here, every time I do this, the tanks are shooting over the cities, and they're just wiping them out. I mean, because they can't send up everything. Anyone, I mean, unless they're experienced. People who are experienced, they're going to set up in a line right here. They're going to set up a line right here, here, and here. And they're going to push in just one wave. They're not going to push in a single file line if they're experienced. Because they know what's going to happen. You're going to wipe out one unit by one unit by one unit at a time. But when they send the wave up, then, I mean, they've got such a huge force at the beginning. Like, I mean, instead of just wiping one unit at a time, I mean, they will, they will learn to send the wave. But if they're not pushing on Charlie, then they're going to start, both of them are going to start pushing on Mike. Because they know how bad a priority it is. They know what it is. I know they need it. Um, but once you have Charlie, I wouldn't push up. I wouldn't put anything on these right here. Because chances are they've got some T-80s on this ridge right over here. And they're just going to shoot as soon as you move up. But you got to watch out. If you're spawning stuff... When you're spawning stuff, it's most likely going to go this way. Like if you're if you're uh, clicking on end and you're going to put some units there, then they're going to be spawning out of Charlie. But make sure to stop your stuff. Because they know about it. They know about it. They're going to be following this road right here. And then they have a clear line of sight on this ridge right here. And they'll start launching all our guided missiles when they come across this point right here. I do this so many times. You just got to learn to stop your units and make them go up this road right here. I mean, you just gotta learn to do that. I mean, you'll notice on your own that they'll, uh, cause any experienced player will have shit on this ridge right here, and they're just gonna start launching guided missiles. 
I mean, it's just a know-how thing, you know? But, um, Fortify Mike, you need to set up a defensive barrier. They cannot, like, once they, um... Once they pass that point right there, I mean, there's not a whole lot that you can do. I mean, because once they set up the uh, offensive on this ridge right here, I mean, like I said, it's the exact same thing on this side. They can just shoot over the city, they can shoot over the forest. They have such a huge advantage when they're on that city bluff right there. So make sure you do not let them pass this point. But like I said, put some infantry in here, get some AA, do what you need to do to defend Mike. But don't cap it unless they're really pushing on it and you need units really fast. You need to cap Charlie though so that you can move in from the west side. Um, once you, at the beginning of the game, once you have all your military forests and once it's defended, send out the uh, logistics, send out the CVs, and start capping Lima Hotel and Juliet. Um, let's see, what else? What am I leaving out? Yeah, they're going to be sending some... They're going to be sending some infantry in through here most of the time. I'm saying like maybe 7 out of 10 times they're going to be sending infantry in through there. And they're going to set up some tanks. Most of the time this is all the places that I see enemy tanks. I mean, if you're not up here already, and they've already set defensive barrier, then this, I mean, if you're going to start sending out bombers, these are the prime locations to bomb. I mean, especially this point right here, and this point right here. I mean, chances are there's going to be some tanks in there. I'm not saying chances are, because like 7 out of 10 times. They might not, and they might. I mean, but 7 out of 10 times, there are enemy tanks in those locations, so you got to be careful. Um... The, also, those are the prime locations for enemy tanks. Um, what they will do, though, five out of ten times, is they will put a recon through here, enemy infantry recon, and they're going to start moving up this ridge right here, where they can see in, and they can start bombing your tanks, and they can start bombing your AA, so they can, um, or they'll start artery, arterying, artillerying your AA and if it's clear they'll start moving enemy inf they'll start moving enemy infantry through here and first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna send maybe 40 or 60 through here experienced player that's what they do every time they send infantry through here and they set up some tanks and they just put tanks right there to help their infantry I mean because I mean they're not gonna be new most people you pl you've played with or have played European escalation they know how the game works they know what to do they're not gonna go up this ridge when it fails so many times if they've already sent their wave and it failed then this is what they're gonna do or if they I mean you just gotta put some infantry in through here and a recon through here this is what I do every game I put my recon I put my recon through there. I work through the forest and make my recon move up around the ridge line, the forest line. But you got to be careful right here. Put some infantry in here so they can't bring, uh, keep pumping them into the city. Because if they can pull off a successful just wave after wave of wave of infantry, then they're gonna wipe through you. Because this the city block right here is not gonna be able to shoot over there, not as efficiently as these guys. These guys also won't be able to because this uh, this building right here is going to block their line of sight. You got to be careful. Um, once it gets to maybe 10 minutes in the game, you need to start worrying about filling up all the other city blocks with infantry. Especially these two right here. Put infantry right there. Maybe 10 minutes into the game or 5 minutes into the game. Whenever you can, really. But, um. 
But okay, so like if they already have India and Foxtrot, what you're gonna wanna do is put some napalm infantry. If you have napalm infantry, just um drop point right there. Pump all your uh, napalm infantry up through here. Make them work their way up one city block at a time. Don't keep them moving. I mean, because uh, chances are, I mean, I mean, all the infantry weapons on Pact are mostly standard assault rifles because, I mean, that's just what they are. Uh, NATO though, they have a more complicated system of infantry rifles. I mean, you have a more wide range of diversity here. So I mean, mo you might have SMGs, you might have uh, semi-auto rifles, and you might have standard assault rifles. But chances are, I mean, just just keep them one city block at a time. Don't keep them moving. Don't make them skip blocks. Go one block, one block, one block. And if there's nothing here, if they don't see anything, move one block up. Move one block up. Move one block up. Just keep moving slowly at a time, and you'll win. You'll take over the city. Napalm infantry has such a huge advantage over a regular infantry. I can just wipe right through them. You don't really need to defend here. You do not need to defend here at the beginning of the game. It's just not a not not. I mean, I never see them. I've played this map. I probably have a hundred hours just logged on this map right here, and they never come through here. They never bypass Mike right here. They know, so do not defend this. Uh, use your units to defend Mike or Charlie. And once you have your infantry up through India and you uh, have them here, Once you fortify those points with infantry, not napalm infantry, napalm infantry would not be the wisest choice. I would put them just regular anti-tank infantry. Not anti-tank infantry, but regular infantry that have rocket launchers that can destroy tanks. Um, some, some, inf some infantry though have long range rocket launchers. That's also good, like uh, light riflemen for the United States. Those are really nice if you can put them right there. Just any regular infantry, put them in those city blocks. Maybe like... 30 at a time. I never put 40 because that's a lot. That's a waste of units in my opinion. Just 30 at a time, that's good. Um, and once you have everything like that, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna start quitting at this point. I mean, because once you lose Mike, if you, uh, and it's each side, like I said, it's like a mirror. Like, like that right there. They're gonna be defending Charlie. Like it's exactly the same. Once you lose Mike, though, I mean, it's easy to say game over. But once they have it. If they've capped it and they have a CV on it and they're pumping units out of it, both of you need to be focusing on it. You need to be pumping everything you can into there. But wave at a time. Just build up a wave. Don't send them in a single file line. Put a, put a wave of units so they can all cross the ridge at the same time and unload at the same time. I mean, you're going to be going through a lot of points and a lot of units because chances are they've already set up here. Chances are they have at least four tanks on those ridge on each point. And they have infantry in these cities. If they, if, if they know what they're doing, they have infantry. you got to be careful about infantry. Don't get too close to those cities. Send your own infantry into the cities. Don't put tanks close up to any city that they might be in. You gotta be careful, because they will wipe right through your tanks. It's a dumb, dumb, idiotic thing to do. Never send tanks into a city. Never send tanks close to a city. Never let them get in range with their rocket launchers. You're just gonna get wiped through. Tanks cannot just clear out city infantry. It's just not possible. Um, if they've got a CV, though... If they've got a CV, it's going to be either here or here. Chances are, 9 out of 10 times, it's going to be in either of those positions. Most of the time, it's going to be on the left one right over here. Um, what else? Um, but yeah, you just do not want to let them pass here.
don't let them pass that point because once they get on that ridge it's extremely hard to get them off of it and don't forget to use smoke if you're pushing up and they're on this ridge pop smoke get your artillery pop smoke here pop smoke where you can all cross that ridge safely and then once the smoke clears you can just wipe right through them all at the same time when you send a one unit at a time it's just it's suicide if they have capped India and Foxtrot and they have infantry and they're just pushing down through the middle put your infantry here put some tanks right there that is the easily mo that is most likely the easily most defended point if they're coming down through the middle and they're going for a hotel you need to be up on that ridge other than that though I mean there's really no way to defend I mean there's really no other good point to defend if they're coming down through this road if they're coming up this side if they're coming through here which I see a whole lot of the time then I mean that's it's really a hard point to defend against the, the most I mean the best thing that you can do though the best thing that you can do though is put some tanks in these trees and don't let them pass that point but if they're moving down this side you need to have some tanks in this ridge right here put some tanks right here This is where helicopters really come in handy if you have them. Like, I mean, um, because by now their AA has run out of gas and they're not going to be able to keep up with their tanks unless they know what they're doing and they're refueling their AA. So their AA is most likely right here. That's where they usually run out of gas. So use your helicopters, use your bombers, bomb the shit out of them right here so they don't uh, move up behind Charlie and... I mean, because once they move up through here, if they're not going for a kilo and they're not going to try and take out your CV, they're going to move up behind you. Once they start going over here, I mean, they're just going to wipe through Charlie. Charlie is not defendable when they're coming up behind you right here. You're going to lose it if you don't do something about it. But yeah, like I said, use helicopters, use your planes, because by now their AA has run out of gas and it's all the way back over here somewhere. Um, let's see, what else? If they have moved up through Charlie and they've and they've pushed past everything or you have just not defended it, then put your tanks right there and put him right there put him right here and put him right here if they push past through this point and they take out all your tanks start air dropping some infantry and move them up through here because this is what they're gonna do this is the exact thing they're not gonna put tanks in here they're gonna put infantry but loads of them recons and infantry so just start pumping out the infantry through here and do what you need to do. Infantry in this forest is the best thing that you can do because if you have tanks in here, if you have tanks right there that are busting up their tanks that are moving along, if they're moving through here and your tanks are sitting there busting them up, then they're they're gonna start pushing out their own tanks and their own infantry and they're gonna take out your tanks. So it's an extremely vulnerable position. So just don't let them. If they, I mean, it's extremely hard to defend against once they push past Charlie. It's it's gonna be game over for you. If you lose either one, I mean, it's easily said. I mean, you can easily just say game over. So you gotta defend them at all costs. Those are the key points on the entire map. Mike and Charlie. I don't I don't know any other way to we'll just you just gotta defend them but yeah that's pretty much all you need to know about this map is just Mike and Charlie thanks for watching guys I hope you learned something